Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy's back and I done did it again. Today we're going to talk about PHP and WordPress. Okay. So this is the introduction to my WordPress course that I'm working on currently and that you're watching this because you either bought it or you are a subscriber to my website. Okay. So let's get to it. So let's talk about PHP. So PHP is literally is the leading programming language of the web doesn't matter where you go to it doesn't matter if it's South Africa doesn't matter if it's the Philippines doesn't matter if it's Australia doesn't matter if it's Japan doesn't matter if it's England doesn't matter if it's Mexico doesn't matter if it's Argentina doesn't matter if it's the United States of America wherever you go you're always gonna find PHP okay so PHP has been the dominant programming language for years okay and one thing that you're going to notice, as you can see here on this website, similar tech, it shows you how big PHP is on the web. Okay. So this right here shows you just all the frameworks. Okay. That have built, um, different, uh, applications online. So you can see you got Laravel, Java, Node.js, Express, Python, Ruby, or Rails, ASP.NET, PHP. And that's like the entire web. Now the top 1 million websites. You can see PHP is dominating 27% of the top 1 million websites. Okay. You got .NET, Ruby on Rails, Laravel, Express, Node.js, Java, Python. Okay. Now we start going to the top 100,000 websites. PHP still are one of those things that's just so, for some reason, it's still up there, right? It's been around for like 20 years plus or more, right? Go to the top 10 thousand sites on the world the whole entire world right you're gonna see that php is still dominating 15 percent of all of those websites okay you got php.net ruby on rails node.js express java python django so you're gonna see that we're pretty much up there okay now one thing that's interesting about php is that php is like let's say a good 60 to 70 percent of the web and out of that 60, 70% of the web, probably around another 60, 70% of that is made with WordPress. Okay. So if we go here and we'll see 40 plus most notable big name brands that are using WordPress, WordPress is used everywhere. When it comes to content management systems, there's no other one like WordPress. Everybody uses it. Okay. So you're going to see right here, you got TechCrunch, The New Yorker, BBC America, Bloomberg Professional, The Official Star Wars Blog, Variety, Sony Music, MTV News, Beyonce, PlayStation Blog, Sweden's Official Website, Microsoft News Center, like even Microsoft is using WordPress and they have other frameworks and, and um, content management systems that they've built themselves, but they still use WordPress. Okay. You got Bada, CPanel, Blog, Usain Bolt, Walt Disney, Time, uh, Facebook Newsroom, uh, Marks and Spencer's. Uh, let's see what else. There's a whole bunch of stuff. The Rolling Stones, like Walking Dead, like wherever you're going to see a big brand, whenever they have a blog, or a section where they need to manage content, meaning blogs, images, uh, news, um, you know, sports, whatever it's out there, literally they're using WordPress. Okay. So there's a lot of people that say, man, you know, you cap out. If you start at WordPress, you're going to cap out the most you're going to make is $60,000 and this, this, and that. And it's like, bro, that's not really the truth. Okay. Uh, there's a difference between liking something and saying, Hey, this is a cool programming language. This is a cool framework. Then what the reality is, I'm all about the jobs. I'm all about the bag, the money bag. I'm here for that. I'm not here for anything else. Right. To me, coding is not a religion. I look at this as a career. I look at this as a way to make money and that's it, right? So one thing that I can tell you is that you're always going to find jobs when it comes to WordPress. You're always going to find freelancing gigs when it comes to WordPress. You're always going to find something to do with WordPress. There's always something out there, right? And even at that, they were even saying a, a few months ago that they were thinking about switching WordPress into Node.js. Okay. So for those of you guys that are 
super happy with Node.js and love JavaScript, guys, <laughs> WordPress will probably be switching to Node.js at some point, right? But right now, it's all about PHP, right? The web has been PHP for the last 20, 30 years, okay? So it is what it is. We can't do anything about that, <laughs> okay? So let's talk about the jobs, okay? So there's a whole bunch of jobs out there, all right? You're going to see... There's a lot of jobs that start at the bottom, and that's because when you think about it, the United States is huge, okay? You can't expect to get paid $50,000, $70,000, $100,000 in New York City, and then you think that you're going to get paid the same thing as somebody who's in New York in Wyoming, right? But they still need WordPress developers in Wyoming. You get what I'm saying? So... The prices are different depending on the cost of living, okay? So you always got to keep that in mind. Also, too, you got to remember, you can always be a remote developer. You don't have to always just find a job in your area. You can always find jobs in different parts of the country or the world, okay? So we're going to go here. You're going to see this a web developer, web developer, WordPress build content administrator, uh, junior WordPress developer. And that's one of the reasons why I definitely tell you guys to learn it because there's just so many opportunities for brand new developers. Yes, you could be a super fanboy of Python, Node.js, Golang, Crystal Lang, uh, Elixir, whatever you want to study. You could do that, right? But how about you get a job while you're still learning to code? How about you get a job while you're still looking for that dream job that you want, right? Why wouldn't you want to get some money, right? That's all I, I'm thinking about, right? That's all I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about how can we get you guys in jobs? How can we get you guys in opportunities, okay? So first of all, as you can see, there's always going to be a junior developer. It's going to be entry-level jobs, uh, local SEOs, a specialist, WordPress developer, you know, like even in Florida. Florida is one of the worst places to live when it comes to uh, being a, a web developer, period. Like you barely get paid anything over there, right? They don't give value to the developers, okay? But there's always gonna be jobs, okay? If you start looking, hey, I wanna become a developer that earns $85,000 or more. Well, they have jobs like that too. But also, it depends on what city. As you can see, Austin, Texas, New York, New York, Scottsdale, Arizona, uh, where else? Even look, junior WordPress developer, in rockville maryland like here atlanta georgia like it all depends on where you're going to be living at okay wordpress expert and um what was it let me see okay bear Mount, california like you no know, 40 to 50 dollars an hour wordpress php lamp stack developer 40 to 50 dollars an hour calculate that you know, let, let's do the math. Sometimes we, we need the math done. Okay. So let's say at the lowest $40 times 40. Okay. $1,600 a week. Okay. That's, that's in California. Always keep that in mind. That's $1,600 a week times 52 weeks, $83,000. That's not bad guys. Okay. So if on a higher level, let's say you, or somebody who has been doing it for two, three years, okay? You could get that $50 an hour. That's 50 times 40 times, let's say, 52. That's $104,000, okay? Do it again for the people that don't see it. $50 times 40 hours, okay? That's $2,000 a week, okay? Times... Then from there we go, 52 weeks. That's how they usually calculate, you know, your taxes and uh, for your job and everything. It's like they say 52 weeks. Sometimes you don't even work 52 weeks, but it is what it is. 104000 That's on you if you want it, okay? Now, let's say you are a developer that lives in an area where you're not going to get that $40, $50 an hour. Cool, that's fine. You know how you can make that extra money? That extra money that you think like, oh, it's so hard. Well, you got websites like, what is it? Odesk or Elance. I think it's Elance now. Upwork. They mix mix them up now. So you go go to Upwork. You could go do some freelancing gigs. Okay. Uh, let's say uh, WordPress. 
okay depending on your skills you could find some work okay this guy's charging fifty dollars an hour this guy's charging 35 some people 50 you know there's a lot of people out there okay you know this guy's charging 75 dollars an hour like really buddy 75 dollars an hour for wordpress don't you think you're overdoing it <laughs> all right so there's a lot of opportunities a lot of jobs you know that you can do with wordpress but let's talk about like i said if you live in an area where you're not getting that much money okay so how can you make uh, more money with wordpress well there's wordpress themes okay you can literally come here to this website called uh, envato market which is themeforest.net okay you can sell your theme you could build a theme which is basically just a, a front page as a couple of plugins you could even use other people's plugins right sell it online and make some money okay now let's talk about the money right so you got the best sellers guys guys that have been eating for years already okay let's say this guy he's done 443,000 sales with that theme alone right at $60 what's the calculator man let's get this calculator going okay because I'm all about the money I'm all about what's the end goal okay so you could come here a 60 times okay 443 so let's say 443 okay we're just gonna keep it even 443,000 okay calculate that that's okay that's that's a lot <laughs> let's just say that's a lot okay do it again 60 times 443,000 okay calculate that how much did this person make with this one single theme okay calculate that we got okay that's right there that little spot right there that's thousands already okay so that's 580,000 from there to there okay but you forgetting this extra number here that's 26 million five hundred and eighty thousand dollars that they've made and let's say they took I don't know uh, a 20 30 percent uh and vital market took from them you're still looking at a lot of money okay so it is what it is you know sky's the limit you could go ahead and build plugins too okay you could do this this is the same thing <laughs> like a lot of these plugins we are developers right we are good developers we are junior developers mid-level developers senior developers okay guys you might think like oh this is not possible guys people do this all the time bring out the calculator again okay this is just how we do things right so let's say this guy this guy's not even the number one guy that sells uh plugins on on this market so let's say 26 dollars times two hundred and seventy thousand dollars okay calculate that well two hundred seventy thousand sales sorry how much is that that's seven million and then seven million twenty thousand dollars that this guy has generated from this one stupid slider revolution like it's not that hard guys i'm being honest it's not that hard to generate money with wordpress okay now is this gonna be like the the average for everybody no okay let's just say you created a plugin right and let's say you're plugging you're selling it for 30 bucks okay 30 dollar plugin that's a pretty good price let's say you sell a thousand okay a thousand plugins you could sell that right you create a, a good plugin that's thirty thousand dollars that you made if you go ahead and you start selling a thousand plugins per year that's thirty thousand dollars extra that you're getting every single year and that's not like a astronomical number that's literally a thousand sales per year that's an extra thirty thousand dollars in your pocket okay so even if you might live in an area where you're only making sixty seventy thousand dollars that's how you make your extra income thirty thousand dollars from plugins and from 
you know, doing gigs and doing extra work and whatever. Now, I'm not telling you guys to become WordPress developers expert, right? I don't want you to become the expert, right? I just want you guys to literally come in, learn the things that you need to learn, be able to make money with this, right? Because the idea behind this is, I don't know about you guys, for me, it's not about, I want to be the very best developer that's out there, right? My whole goal is to make sure that you guys get paid and get jobs. You know, becoming the very best developer is a personal goal that some of you might have and some of you might not have. Some of you might just want to get a job. Some of you might just want to become somebody who's independent, be able to make money on, on the side on your own. So if that's the type of person that you are like, Hey man, take this, learn it. It's not going to hurt you. It's just going to open doors for you to work in different fields. Okay. You can learn Node.js, JavaScript, uh, uh, freaking Golang, uh, Ruby on rails. You can learn everything that's under the sun, right? Whatever you love, but also learn this. Don't deny it. Don't go against it. It's like, that's the web. That's what the internet is like right now in 21st century. Right. WordPress has been around for years already. And there's a reason why people keep picking it up. It's a content management system that works. And if you know how to use it and you know how to develop for it, you're only going to get gains. There's no downside from it. OK, so like I said, too, you can find little bullshit jobs, a little side gigs on Craigslist. And, you know, you could even check on dice dot com. There's a lot of jobs out here for WordPress developers, right? And there's always something getting added. Like, look at this. This was just added two hours ago, you know, 20 hours ago, you know? So those are new jobs that are being created every single day. WordPress developer, six hours ago, 32 minutes ago. <laughs> God damn it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm telling you guys, there is no downside, right? It's just an extra skill that you have, okay? This is not something that you're going to be like, I'm going to become the very best WordPress developer in the world. Like, no, <laughs> all you have to do is like literally learn a skill. If you like being a WordPress developer, you could become a, a, a full time WordPress developer and enjoy the benefits that it, it comes with. But some people might just like other things. Right. But all I'm saying is to make yourself seem a more attractive developer for companies and recruiters out there hey man make sure you have this skill and this is why i created this course and i hope you guys enjoy it. it's your boy joe back at it again coding phase dot